Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. We're going to be doing today our first modification to our 2022 Lowrider S Harley Davidson. But we're going to be doing some safety upgrades. First modification. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna be doing our first modification to this and it's actually not gonna be exhaust which I said we were gonna do this is actually gonna be something that's gonna be it's gonna have a cool factor but it's also gonna keep us a little safer on the road which is something that you know our town was unfortunately hit with just recently uh, we will leave details out of it but we did uh, we don't live in a big town you know, it is kind of a small town here where we live but we did lose a fellow rider but we wanted to concentrate today's video on safety so reach out to custom dynamics you guys can see over here we have a ton of parts to go on the low rider a lighting upgrade and a heavy lighting upgrade so we reached out to custom dynamics you guys know who they are and they are the best in the business we have a ton of stuff i mean pretty much everything you'd ever want for your 2022 or just harley davidson in general whatever year turn signals fore and aft we got the lay down license plate that's going to make this thing look a lot better uh, they gave us some fancy cool socks that uh, I'm sure my wife will steal. This is our triple play harness, I believe. Anyway, and then we also have this guy right here, which is gonna look so, so much better than the factory one that's coming off of. So, uh, we just did his recently, all of the lights on his from Custom Dynamics and made a huge difference on your road glide. We have basic hand tool screwdriver. This is like a 2045 and then we have an 11 mil and then you have a cross tip or Phillips head screwdriver as well. We have to dissect a little bit of the wiring, but the cool thing is that it's all plug and play. So all the products that you see in this video go check out and follow the links down below in the video description to check out custom dynamics let them know that you saw this video for a good deal so let's get started we're gonna rock and roll in today's video let's go all right guys so before we begin though i want to show you how of course these look like uh, they come with these regular light bulbs i don't know why how early is still doing this but let's fire it up turn it on you guys can see how old school 1999 it looks you know at least we have this as being an led and the headlight itself but that's all getting replaced it's gonna look a lot better hazards so it's it gets the job done it's not very bright though so we're going to be concentrating a little bit on safety the idea and intent and purpose is to we're going to be spreading the lights across make the bike look a little wider from the rear which is going to aid in visibility so we don't get rear-ended and so on and so forth. And the front pro beams have like a halo effect to the turn signals and they work as running lights. And it's gonna, again, make us look bigger on the road and brighter, which is always a good thing, keeps us safer. These new lenses that we have are not gonna be amber, they're gonna be red. All right, so we gotta disconnect this one, this one, this one, chase the wires back, trim tool remover right there to pop that out. We don't wanna break it, we do wanna reuse. But we're working on the triple play. I wanted to start with this first because I felt like, you know, looking at all the pieces that this is going to be the hardest part so highly encourage if you need further instructions besides black and white go check it out because that's what i've been doing but anyway to give you the rundown so this is a 2022 lowrider s you know so for this specific vehicle uh we have this harness here this pigtail harness it kind of like sits in here so you get these little clips I'm just gonna breeze through this. Just, you know, follow the video. But brown wire goes into the black connector and the gray is the purple, okay? And so then these will kind of sit down in their homes afterwards. Then you have this piece of the harness here that clips into right there. And it's all male, female, so you can't really get this wrong, okay? But this is how that looks. We come from these clips up to this junction right here. You have this long wire, you'll get it, and it's got a zip tie on it. It's the only really long one that's on this triple play. So we come around to this side of the bike, and you got to take your covers off. Okay, so we take this long wire, and then figure out how you want to route it. So I'm going to zip tie probably alongside back here, but I came under here. Now, you find how this looks. Okay, so you're going to have this style clip here, Remember that, and then you have the big one. In between, you have this. And what you will take off is a blank connector, okay? It's literally, it slides and it clips on right back here. And then this was their stock. You pull this away. This is your new wire that comes down, and it's just like OEM. Custom Dynamics is really good stuff. So how this actually looks right back there with the little uh, ears or whatever, it slides onto its home location 
so it's not dangling plug it up you're good to go on this side so then you can put your engine cover back on you know pending you have all your wires tucked up as zip tied out of the way like you would want it but this is kind of cool uh, that you can program how this actually operates as so they give you a uh, instruction sheet it's pretty detailed on how to actually operate this thing so we're going to figure out where to mount this next i'm thinking maybe back here somewhere under the seat i'm not really sure it might actually come like over here and zip tie it up out of the way so i can have easy access if i want to turn the dial that it has and then we'll move on to this back section here i've already taken the brake light off all right so we got this wrapped up so all of my wires are nice and tidy this is how i've done it there's a little slit back here the rear fender here there's a little slit from the factory so I zip tied it uh, right there out of the way. It's perfectly out of the way of the seat and everything. Nothing's going to get pinched. And just changed my wires. Made everything look nice and fancy. Gave a little slack here to come underneath into this plug. All right, guys, I got a little carried away. So we got the lay down license plate mounted up. It's pretty easy and it's pretty cool because it doesn't sit all the way flush. But what it does is it gives you the ability to run this top plate here. So your rear brake light, for example, you see that little window right there? That's actually the light that shines on to your license plate itself it, so it shines up now what we're doing we're running the mounting bracket back here as well as the one with the light so it'll shine down so this is pretty cool because it allows us to run power we did have to drill a hole right back here it's pretty clear in the instructions how to do it but anyway what we can do now is test this because this actually has different functionalities if you have the triple play like we're doing here it's going to give you lots of custom ability which they actually give you a sheet here. So lots of detailed instructions, pretty complex. So we're gonna have to dig through this, lots of different settings. So 2020 and up, we're gonna have to pay attention to that. But there's your diagram back here. There's a turn dial. Okay, so what I did, like you saw, is we mounted it here. So we lift the seat up and it gives us access to our turn dial there. All right, so that way we can control our lights. However, we so choose according to the instructions, but this is pretty sweet, so I'm digging it so far. So let's test it and make sure that we're good so far as far as wiring. I have not wired this up. We just need a constant power and a chassis ground as far as that light source goes. And then we can move on to the turn signals, which I'm really excited to see. But let's test out this brake light and see if it works. All right, guys, make it headway. I'm digging it so far, so I really like the strobe functionality of it. Again, gives us a little bit more safety on the road. I think it's pretty sweet. So again, we can choose our setting by that turn dial. I'll have to dig into that a little bit after we complete the turn signals as we're doing right now. And then we're gonna program everything. All right, so Custom Dynamics has a bunch of different options as far as turn signals goes. We're gonna go smoked in the front, which is gonna look really white with the halo effect with the Pro Beam. Now, check out their website. They have a lot of different styles for you guys to choose from. Honestly, their selection is really impressive, but as far as changing these out, guys, it's, it couldn't be more simple. So literally all you need is a big flathead screwdriver and that's it find a little spot over here pop them out we're gonna lose this you can reuse these if you want to but we're gonna go with the new color on the front and as far as the bulbs go push in give it a twist and out she comes very very old school look at this throw these guys away get rid of this garbage as far as the new new serpent rocks pretty cool because like I said you got the smoked version here or you can also just stick with stock OEM do your amber but as far as install hide up in here they've got a little screwdriver cut out here get them in there give them a little turn they're snug so now let's give it a test you guys can see the different side by side garbage much much better it's got a halo effect in person it's coming off crazy on camera because it's so bright but it matches the headlight it's got the halo and then you also have the halo we'll get it on the road too after this and show you from a distance how it looks but that is significantly brighter so again you can use the amber if you want to but i think this again makes you look a little wider since it's the same color but you could also make the argument white amber makes you look a little bit different on the road too so it grabs attention so anyway there's lots of different options pick your poison but let's install this one and then we'll get to the back all right guys both are in they look fantastic and i was thinking about this too because they're brighter it's actually going to give you more forward visibility on the road as well something to think about so this is probably a worthwhile upgrade in that alone in that sense alone so added visibility for other drivers out there added visibility for you a cool factor looks great now let's check out the rear because we got that done too 
let's turn the bike on but yeah super freaking bright dude looks delicious as far as the back goes that looks good too so red i like the red matches the center here and it gives you it gives the bike a little bit of a wider look now again you could stick with amber and it gives you the diversity of you know the different colors which makes possibly you know the the bike stand out a little bit more too but i really like this look too just makes the bike look a little bit wider so now we're going to work on the functionality and the tuning uh or the the programming of our triple play here guys this is so much better than i expected i really like the new look it really transforms the whole freaking motorcycle that looks freaking fire all right let's program this thing now and see if we can get this figured out and real quick i also meant to mention the hazards so let's flip some hazards on because the amber function even though these are white the amber function still works just like oem so even though we lost the amber covers you still have the amber light for road hazards so in the back they're obviously red just like they would be on a car but as far as forward visibility oncoming traffic these are amber and they look great all right guys now programming our triple play so there are a bunch of options like nine and uh it's it's pretty clear and concise what the instructions say we're going to play around with a couple of them and, and show you what's up i i think it's going to be cool uh, what I want to see is that we're going to have the strobe functionality. I think it's going to be cool if we can have this thing strobe for a second or a few seconds and then go like solid. But there's a, there's a blaster X pattern too. We're going to check that out, see how everything looks. And, but again, when you order your kit, um, you're going to have all this functionality. So it's pretty cool with the triple play. So I highly encourage you get that in combination with everything else. I think it's going to be money well spent, you know, again, visibility on the road. So let's check it out. All right. So here's brake. We got the running lights and this is an option nine so it's a constant flash now we're going to change this up check out the x pattern so it looks like it's a combination of a few things <laughs> i'm falling over all right let's try all right let's try the one i think that i'm going to leave it on and that's going to be probably let's try pattern four quad strobe then solid All right, so you got multiple flashes and then it goes solid. I like it, but we're gonna actually do, I think, pattern two, seven flashes, then solid. 